So your role ch um, changed quite a bit within the product education domain. You, you started as an individual contributor, now you're mm -hmm. leading the team. Um, what are the differences between those two roles? Yeah, the differences are quite drastic. Um, I suppose if you're an individual contributor on the team, you're spending most of your day writing or um, writing scripts, even if you're a video producer, a lot of that time is script writing. Yeah. Um, you'll be writing articles, you could be in front of a timeline, editing video for your whole day some days. Um, and that's very, very different to, a ma I suppose, a management role on the team, which would consist of, um, I suppose, planning, um, you know, I suppose, yeah, planning strategy, um, reviewing a lot of work at that point, as opposed to writing the work. You'll spend, your, you'll spend a lot of your time editing, um, meeting with, I suppose, cross-functional partners in the company. Um, you know, I meet with people from demand generation and product marketing, support, sales, uh, you know. And how, how much of your time is focused on growing the team in terms of developing the team? Yeah. I suppose there's a kind of a baseline of like all, there's all I'm always doing some amount of that, but and um, we'll go through we'll go through growth spurts where I'll have to spend a bunch of time on hiring, mm -hmm. even though we have like people ops and recruiting teams now. Yeah. Still a big uh, big um, time commitment to like find the right people to join the team, and we take that very very seriously. So we'll always take our time with that. Um, but I suppose then there's a lot of. Um, team management and team development uh, activity that happens throughout the week, which would be like one-on-ones, mm -hmm. team meetings, that kind of thing. Do you do a one-on-one -on -one every week or every couple of weeks? We try to meet with our direct reports once a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. What, what, what are, I don't know, the most often things you, you talk about during the one-on-ones? So the agenda in the one-on-one -on -one is set by the report. So it's... Um, that's kind of the, I suppose, uh, if, I, if, I'm if I'm having a one-on-one -on -one with my manager, I take the agenda um, to my manager. And likewise, for people on my team, they'll take the agenda to me. And that's, the reason for that is that they, it's their chance to raise anything they need to raise, whether that's project-related, personal-related, yeah. rela personal like, you know, it can, be, it can be anything is kind of the rule that I take anyway. Um, and we'll try not to get stuck in, in the weeds on, like, any kind of pr project Operational, operational yeah. stuff or like um, detail about a problem in a particular project. We'll try and keep it, keep it high, higher level than that and try and like move through any, any topics that are top of mind. So when you joined Intercom, you mm -hmm. had just moved to Berlin and you recently relocated back from mm -hmm. Berlin to Dublin. Um, w w was that necessary for the change in your role from individual contributor to a manager in the product education team or was it yeah not related to any it, of that? it was it was definitely related um i was in a, i was in the unique position where my manager was in san francisco mm. i was in berlin and my direct reports were in dublin and that wasn't going to work uh, as we scaled the team it worked when there was like one or two people at either end but not when you're scaling so how big is the team now we're six people now Six people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all in Dublin. They're all in Dublin. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that yeah, that just doesn't work. Um, I think it it can work. If, like it worked when I had one direct report, but even that started to break a bit. Um, and so moving back to Dublin was just really. Which really, you were flying quite a bit back and forth. Yeah, I was back. I was back a lot. I was back like at the beginning for the first couple of years. I was back like once a month, yeah. um, and then probably every other month after that. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, you really need to like FaceTime for the sake of FaceTime is important. That's one thing I've, re I've learned, you know, oftentimes we'll be like, um, you know, over in San Francisco, meeting my manager or meeting, uh, you know, other other people in the team and be like, what are you here for? <laughs> um, you know, um, and really sometimes it's just to get FaceTime with my teammates. Yeah.